water and plenty of elbow grease, and that's the answer for a brand new look. I wish it would work inside the house. Oh, dear, Stu, have you noticed the kitchen walls and the way the paper is peeling in the girls' bedroom? There are a thousand and one things I'd like to have done. I'll have my day, June, and then you can bring in all the papers and painters you want. Roll up the window. I'll do the outside, and you do the inside. Here's a letter for you, Pop. Oh, put it in the kitchen. I'll read it later. Can I have the staff? Why? Isn't it canceled? It's from Germany. Uh, who would write me from Germany? Some German, I guess. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Thanks, Pop. Mm -hmm. Well, June. No, no, roll it down. I have a letter here from Major Gray. Oh, and how is Army life? All right, I guess. He wants to sell his old house. Who in the world would want that old place? Some man by the name of Saunders. Major Gray's written him to get in touch with me, and then I'm to recommend a real estate man to handle the deal. Mm, I'll give it to Hank or Joe or Gordon. On second thought, I'd better let them flip for it. <laughs> no sense in making enemies. Those real estate men certainly have an easy job. Roll it up. Stu, I was just thinking. So was I. That old gray place is pretty run down, but the commission on it ought to amount to something. Stu, I was thinking... You know Miss Willis, the Latin teacher? Well, she does all right selling real estate on the side, so I don't see any reason why I shouldn't do the same thing. That's exactly what I was thinking. Did I say something about my day, June? <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful view, Mrs. Vincent. Yes. I'll bring Mr. Saunders around tomorrow. Well, I'll try to have everything spotless, Mr. Irwin. Fine, fine. Uh, Mr. Irwin. Yes? Uh, how soon will the boys and I have to move? I'll see that you get every consideration. And once I sell the place, you'll have at least a month while we're in escrow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Vincent. So long, fellas. Until tomorrow, then, I'll let myself out. Mr. Irwin can sell our house? Yeah, Mom, how come? Well, because it isn't our house. How come? I don't remember living in any other house, Mom. Me neither. Yes, we've lived here a very long time. But that doesn't make it ours. How come? <laughs> now look, boys, you're going to have to understand. There's a great deal of difference in, in renting a house and in owning one. And, and we're just renting, huh, Mom? That's right, Junior. Why don't we buy it? Now, you boys aren't to worry for a single minute. Mother can only tell you that everything will work out just fine, just as it always has. You mean we get to stay, do we, Mom? No, oh, I didn't say that. But whatever way it works out, it'll be best for us. Mm -hmm. Oh. Junior, let's bat out a few. Come on, Timmy, you can shag the long ones. What's the matter? Have I got the measles or something? It's your father. Has he got them? Go ahead, ask her. Do you own your own house? Sure, I guess so. What's that got to do with playing ball? You don't have to shag them all, Timmy. Go ahead, tell her. Your father's kicking us out of our house. What? Yeah, selling it from under us. Uh, you're a little mixed up. My father is Stuart Irwin, principal of the high school. That's the guy. I don't believe it. Go ask him. I sure will. How's that color, June? Mm, try a shade lighter, dear. Lighter? How about that one? That's it. Mark it. Mark it? Good, good, good. There's a pin in it here now. Stu, hmm? how's that for the 
the couch. No, oh, why don't you try some flowers or something? Here, let's see. Hmm? There, how's that? Mmm, that's it. That looks good, doesn't it? Where'd you hear it, Joyce? Down at the drugstore, and I felt that big. Oh, girls, I have some wonderful news for you. <laughs> Daddy. Yes? Are you going to evict that poor widow and her two children? Uh, what? Oh, dear. Are you, Pop? What are you talking about? The Vincent family. Yeah, that nice Mrs. Vincent and her two boys, Junior and Timmy. Oh, uh... Please, Pop, say you're not that kind of man. Oh, I have nothing to do with it. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Well, uh, not exactly. Uh... What do you mean, not exactly? Girls, let me explain. This is just an everyday run-of-the-mill business transaction. Yes, you girls make me sound like Simon Legree. <laughs> That's just what the grocery man called you, Mr. Irvin. Really? Huh? Now, girls, think clearly. Do we own the old gray place? No, Mother. Then how could I be the one to uh, turn him out in the cool? Junior and Timmy said Pop was doing it. That's what they said at the drugstore. That's what they said. Oh, I'll answer the phone. Jackie, do you remember the letter I got from Germany? I gave you the stamp. What's that got to do with throwing the Vincents out of their house? The house belongs to Major Gray, the man who wrote the letter. If he wants to sell it, I can't stop him. Tell them that down at the drugstore. Please do. You see, girls, there's quite a lot of commission involved. And your father and I saw a chance to improve our own home. This is Mr. Saunders, huh? He's waiting at the hotel for you to take him down to the old gray place. Oh, yes, yes, I forgot. Look, girls, Major Gray has made arrangements to sell the house to a man named Saunders. If I don't take the commission, Hank or Joe or Gordon will. Look, honey, show the girls the samples of the new paint and wallpaper for their room, huh? But it was to be a surprise, dear. Oh, go ahead, show them. Girls, your father and I have a surprise. Later, Mom. I gotta beat it. Don't you want to see the samples, Joy? I'd rather not, Mother. What do you think, Timmy? Has it got room for a disco for you, too, Mr. Owen? Maybe. Well, did you ask him? Yep. What did we tell you? But my pop is a wonderful man. He's the kindest, most wonderful man that ever lived. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I know how to handle him. So do we. Did you see the signs? That's not the way at all. My pop is a sucker for kids. Nice kids, that is. Especially if they look unhappy. Now, here's my idea. Yes, sir, it's a great buy, Mr. Saunders. Of course, right now it needs a coat of paint, some landscaping. Oh, you little... don't have to sell me on the gray place, Mr. Irwin. I remember how it looked when I was a kid. I used to deliver papers here. Oh? They always seem to be having a party. Nice people, rich people. I could hear them laughing inside. Oh, and they, uh, they used to play croquet right over there. Oh, they did? <laughs> you know, Mr. Irwin, I decided to go out and make enough money to, to own this place. Fine, fine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Needs a new hinge. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Mr. Irwin and that man, Mom. Oh, good. Now remember, little gentlemen, make Mother proud of you. Don't worry about a thing, Mom. Mr. Irwin, how nice. Good afternoon, Mrs. Vincent. May I present Mr. Saunders? Mr. Saunders? Mrs. Vincent. Uh, show Mr. Saunders around the house. Oh, thank you. Please note the ceilings, Mr. Saunders, how high they are. Plenty of ventilation. You won't find that in the new house. No, siree. Oh, these are the Vincent boys, Mr. Saunders. This is Junior and little Timmy. Hello, boys. How do you, how you do, do, Mr. Saunders? Mr. Saunders? Glad, Glad to, to see, see you, Mr. Irwin. Well. <laughs> we'll go outside and play, Mother. Yes, Junior, do. Uh, Mr. Irwin, I'll run upstairs if you'll excuse me. I can imagine how the boys left their room. Now, don't go to any trouble. No trouble, Mr. Irwin. <laughs> uh, they knew how to build houses in the old days. Just feel these floors, how solid they are. Well, they sure are. Uh, and, and look over here. I want you to see this view up. Uh, Blow hard, Timmy. <laughs> Oh, 
You, uh, you were saying, Mr. Irwin? Uh, the floor, <laughs> how solid it is. Oh, well, we did that. Huh? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wait till you see the attic. There's room enough up there for a billiard table. Oh, yes, there's, there's nothing like a good game of billiards after dinner. And you'll have the room for it. <laughs> Oh, I guess I better tell you about the watermark on the basement wall. It's up to here. In the rainy season, you have a swimming pool. Oh, I'll fix that, Mr. Irwin. <laughs> Some people say high ceilings double the heating bill, even triple it. What? Well, heat all stays up here, and you get nothing down here. Oh, hang the expense, Mr. Irwin. I agree with you. There's nothing like good ventilation. Oh, I'm glad you'll agree with me. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's funny. What's funny? Should have known it all the time. Dry rot. Oh, really? Yeah, it's common in these old houses. You can't fight it. Hmm. Now, be careful now. You'll fall through. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Mr. Irwin? Come over here, and I'll let you in on something. Look. There's a hot buy over on Clark Street. A real bargain, believe me. Restricted area, modern improvements, a much larger... You know, lot. Mr. Irwin, I thought I was a shrewd businessman. Thought I knew all the tricks. But let me take my hat off to a real artist at underselling. <laughs> you know I want this house. Such a price, Mr. Irwin, and I'll meet it. Fine. <laughs> Fine. We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. Now, back to the Irwins. Yes, Major Gray, I know it's a very generous offer. But, Major... But, Major... Mother. Just a minute, girls. Your father's talking to Germany. What's happening? I don't know yet. Listen. Yes, Major, but real estate's going sky high. I definitely don't advise selling at this time. Huh? Well, I know it's more than you expected, but... Tell him money isn't everything. Uh, yes, dear, tell him that. The money isn't everything, Major. Huh? Well, frankly, I'm worried about the Vincent family. Huh? Oh, I didn't know. That's too bad. I'm, I'm terribly sorry to hear it. What's too bad, Stu? What is it? Mrs. Vincent's ten months behind the rent. Oh, it's that bad. What? Oh. Oh, yes. Well, that's very nice of you. Yes, I will. I'll tell her. Goodbye, Major. What's going to happen, Pop? The deal's going through, but the Major wants me to cancel the ten months' rent she owes. Well, that's something. Oh, he's a fine man, June. He's known for a long time that Mrs. Vincent is way overhead trying to keep up that big place on her small income. Dad, huh? we want to say we don't blame you at all anymore. We think you're swell. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. Yeah, and we don't care what everybody else in town thinks about you. Thank you, Jackie. That poor Mrs. Vincent, she must be frantic. Yeah. Why, Mrs. Irwin, Joyce, and Jackie, how nice. We brought Willie along with us. I thought maybe I could help with the packing. The heavy things, Miss Vincent. Oh, dear, the packing. I'm afraid I haven't even started it yet. Time's running out. So it is. I came to help with the packing, too, Mrs. Vincent. Oh, how nice, Joyce. Have you uh, found a new home yet? Well, truthfully, I, I haven't even looked. I just can't quite bring myself to knowing we're going to have to move. Uh, where's Junior? The boys are playing out by the side of the house. Use the window, Jackie. They don't know what doors are for. Maybe I could start packing the books. Oh, good, Willie. Right over this way. Sit down, Mrs. Irwin. Thank you. And, uh, I'd like to put in a wall from about there all the way over to there. And it should match that back wall. Here, let me throw you a couple. There you go. Jackie, look over there. <laughs> Did you get all that? Oh, now that uh, that gate over there will have to have a couple of hinges. That's Mr. Saunders. So what? <laughs> now look at Mrs. Vincent. That's a good one. I'm sure sorry you have to move, Mrs. Vincent. Oh, don't worry, Willie. Everything will work out all right somehow. Mr. Saunders isn't married, is he? No. Get it? Of course. And this would solve everything. Hmm. Could be. Hmm. I better go talk to the boys. I 
I suppose you have another idea. As a matter of fact, I have. Get rid of the kid. Now listen to me, boys. Could be. I like it better than the other idea. There's no time to lose. Everybody has to pitch in on Operation Love Bug. I've done a lot of things in my life, but this is the first time I ever played Cupid. <laughs> Hot dogs, buns, potato salad, and barbecue sauce. They say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Remember, Willie, it's Mrs. Vincent and Mr. Saunders we want to get married. Oh, I read the most wonderful book. Two people met and then they went their separate ways, never realizing they were madly in love. Uh, we won't let that happen this time. Mr. Saunders is a lucky man. He's getting a ready-made family. <laughs> you know, that's one thing that worries me. I do hope the boys cooperate. Oh, I'm quite sure Jackie has coached them properly. <laughs> well, I'll take these over to the barbecue. <laughs> Willie, what's in here? That's something Jackie brought over. Oh. Jackie. Coming, Mother. This might give them ideas. We can't miss a trick. What do we do with these, Jackie? You leave that to me, Mom. These are some props for a romantic setting. Look, Mom, your song. Oh, dear, something might happen to the record. Remember, it's for a good cause. Sure, if it hooked pop, maybe it'll work on Mr. Saunders. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is some stuff for the father and son events. That'll give Mr. Saunders a chance to show off. What's romantic about fly spray, Jackie? It all depends on what you put into it, Willie. My irresistible surrender. Two dollars an ounce. Jackie! Remember, it's all for a good cause. Oh, uh, couldn't we just put some on her dress? Well, we can't take any chances, Joyce. This isn't just for Mrs. Vincent and Mr. Saunders. It's for Pop, too. He's been feeling awful lately. Commission. Joan. Joyce. Jackie. Nobody at home, I guess. Sixteen hundred and forty two dollars, and I don't want it. We have to wait for Junior. Oh, Willie! Yes, Jackie? Would you folks mind washing the dog so it won't burn on one side? Sure, Willie. This will be a treat. Thank you. Mrs. Irwin, it was awfully nice of you and the girls to suggest this picnic. Sixteen hundred and forty-two dollars. Blood money for turning a widow and two nice kids out into the street. I am Simon Legree. Come on, Come on. Plans called for you fellas to lose. How can you lose to most slow folk like? I guess I'm not very good at this, Jackie. I guess you've never been to a father and son picnic. No, unfortunately, I've never had the pleasure. That's too bad. The next event will be a three-legged race. You and Junior, Mr. Saunders, against uh, Timmy and me. <laughs> and I've never been a father either. $1,642 for driving kids into the street. And I thought a real estate man had an easy job. Hello, is Hank there? Hello, Hank, this is Stu Irwin. I'm looking for a house. 
Oh, no, 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 mine is fine just the way it is. I want to rent a house. Well, a year's lease if the price is right. Oh, around $1,600. Come on, Mr. Saunders. Come on, Mr. Saunders. Oh, Junior, are you all right? Here, Mom. Mr. Saunders, are you hurt? He just got the wind knocked at him. He's too old for this sort of stuff. Why, Junior, Vincent, I'm ashamed of you. Mr. Saunders is not old. He's still a young man, and, and a fine young man. You boys think you're so good at sports? Well, name one, and, and I'll bet Mr. Saunders could beat you. Huh. Football, Mom? Yes, football. Why, I'll bet he was a fullback, and an All-American, maybe. This isn't exactly what we planned, but everything's okay. Come on. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Irwin. Oh, fine, fine. Oh, I'm a man that works fast. It's a deal. I'll be right over with the money. <laughs> what a beautiful and romantic place this used to be, Mrs. Benson. Oh, you see those bushes over there? I used to hide behind them. I really envied the Gray family. Oh, come here, I want to show you something. Everything's going fine. Yeah, but I think Mr. Saunders would like to smell the barbecue sauce better. We'll stick to our plan. The TG is one of the Gray boys I watched in Carver. His girl was standing right there where you are. Gosh, that was a long time ago. I wasn't any bigger than that. Well, let's see. Uh, this is Timmy. Yes, Mr. Saunders. Uh, he's quite a boy. Sure makes a man feel warm to play Cupid. <laughs> I can't wait to tell your father he'll be so happy. Here comes Pop, Mom. But he doesn't look unhappy. Answer the phone, Willie. I'm busy. Wonderful news, June. So have we. I have a plan to solve Mrs. Vincent's problems. I took my $1,600 and leased the house. Oh, dear. Yep, three bedrooms and a big yard. And the present tenants will be out by the time she has to move. Oh, Pop. Oh, Stu, I wish you hadn't. Huh? I won't have my house fixed up with that kind of money. But if our plan works, it won't be that kind of money. For you, Mr. Irvin. Huh? Mr. Saunders. Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Saunders. Did you tell him? No, he did all the talking. Yes, Mr. Saunders. Yes, the house is yours on the 14th. Yes, Mr. Irwin, I know it's mine. But, uh... And you won't have to worry about Mrs. Vincent. She'll be moved out by then. Well, I may have a little surprise for you. Mrs. Vincent won't have to move on the 14th. If things work out the way I planned. Bye. Daddy, what did he say? Quick, Pop, tell us. He has a plan, too. Oh, I know it, I know it. It worked, it worked. Uh... Well, Daddy, you're going to have to come
I guess. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Thanks, Pop. Oh, June. No, no, roll it down. I have a letter here from Major Gray. Oh, and how is army life? All right, I guess. He wants to sell his old house. Who in the world would want that old place? Some man by the name of Saunders. Major Gray has written him to get in touch with me, and then I'm to recommend a real estate man to handle the deal. Mm, I'll give it to Hank or Joe or Gordon. On second thought, I'd better let them flip for it. <laughs> no sense in making enemies. Those real estate men certainly have an easy job. Roll it up. Mr. Irwin can sell our house. Yeah, Mom, how come? Well, because it isn't our house. How come? I don't remember living in any other house, Mom. Me neither. Yes, we've lived here a very long time. But that doesn't make it ours. How come? <laughs> now look, boys, you're going to have to understand. There's a great deal of difference in, in renting a house and in owning one. And, and we're just renting, huh, Mom? That's right, Junior. Why don't we buy it? Now, you boys aren't to worry for a single minute. Mother can only tell you that everything will work out just fine, just as it always has. You mean we get to stay? Do we, Mom? No, oh, I didn't say that. But whatever way it works out, it'll be best for us. Mm. Oh. Plenty of elbow grease, and that's the answer for a brand new look. I wish it would work inside the house. Oh, dear, Stu, have you noticed the kitchen walls and the way the paper is peeling in the girls' bedroom? <laughs> there are a thousand and one things I'd like to have done. I'll have my day, June, and then you can bring in all the papers and painters you want. Roll up the window. I'll do the outside, and you do the inside. Here's a letter for you, Pop. Oh, put it in the kitchen. I'll read it later. Can I have the staff? Why? Isn't it canceled? It's from Germany. Uh, who would write me from Germany? Something. Stu, I was just thinking. So was I. That old gray place is pretty run down, but the commission on it ought to amount to something. Stu, I was thinking... You know Miss Willis, the Latin teacher? Well, she does all right selling real estate on the side, so I don't see any reason why I shouldn't do the same thing. That's exactly what I was thinking. Did I say something about my day, June? <laughs> it's a beautiful view, Mrs. Vincent. Yes. I'll bring Mr. Saunders around tomorrow. Well, I'll try to have everything spotless, Mr. Irwin. Fine, fine. Uh, Mr. Irwin. Yes? Uh, how soon will the boys and I have to move? I'll see that you get every consideration. And once I sell the place, you'll have at least a month while we're in escrow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Vincent. So long, fellas. Until tomorrow, then, I'll let myself out. Hi, Junior. Let's bat out a few. Come on, Timmy. You can shag the long ones. What's the matter? Have I got the measles or something? It's your father. Has he got them? Go ahead, ask her. Do you own your own house? Sure, I guess so. What's that got to do with playing ball? You don't have to shag them all, Jimmy. Go ahead, tell her. Your father's kicking us out of our house. What? Yeah, selling it from under us. Uh, you're a little mixed up. My father is Stuart Irwin, principal of the high school. That's the guy. I don't believe it. Go ask him. I sure will. 